to another one of our play-by-play -play YouTube broadcasts of Section 2 Football here on the Sidelines blog at TimesUnion.com. I'm Ben Myers up here in Queensbury this afternoon on September 10th for today's matchup between the, the Cadets of LaSalle right. and the Spartans of Queensbury. Both teams coming into the game 0-1 last week. The Cadets lost the Sabre game to CBA, 43-29. to and Queensbury five, came in off of a 29-7 to loss to Amsterdam, went in and upset Burn Hills last night. So we're about to get things going. Kick is away, high and short. Be handled around the 15-yard line of LaSalle. And coming straight at you now is, oops, looking at the wrong side already, Kevin Koberger. Kevin and he brings it out all the way almost to the 50 yard line. So a big return to get things started for the Cadets. And they actually got it over the 50. And they're going to put it at about the Queensbury 49 yard line. First and 10 for LaSalle. 11.50 left to go on a big return to get things started by Koberger. Under quarter or under center today will be quarterback Garrett D. Leroy or D. Leroy. Delory, there we go. I had my alphabet backwards there. Delory under center for the cadets to get things started. He'll take the snap and pitch left and going left will be to Koberger. Koberger has a couple of yards on the play. Not much more though. Only second and about eight. Actually, they're getting marked down even shorter than that. So second and nine. As Koberger gets one on the play. yard line, bring up a third and four for the cadets. Two split wide to the right, two backs in the backfield, and they're going to hand off, again, hand off straight 21. up the middle to Kohlberger. And he stopped right at the line of scrimmage, he'll gain maybe one. So bring up a fourth and about three. Fourth down for the cadets. LaSalle going to go for right now, no change of personnel on the field. And Delory brings him to the line. One out to the left, one out to the right, and two backs behind him in the backfield. And now we have a whistle and stoppage in play. And we're going to have a timeout before the cadets are going to talk it over on his fourth and three on the first position of the game. Both teams have the assignments come back out on the field. LaSalle's going to split one wide to the right and one wide to the left. Have a tight end in right on the right side of the line of scrimmage for De La Roy as he comes to the line. Or Delory, I'll get it right one of these times. Delory back, comes back to pass, pop over the middle, caught and going for the touchdown is Gabriel Smith of LaSalle. And the Cadets take a 6 0 lead on the first possession of the game. Yard touch, or excuse me. Oh, it is a 44 yarder as they still the mark back on the, line, the original line of scrimmage. So 44 yard touchdown pass to Smith. Gets things going and gets the cadets on the board. Snap is 
good for the extra point. Kick is up, and it'll be wide to the left. No good. So kick is no good, but LaSalle takes a 6-0 lead on the 44-yard pass play to Smith. Attempt of the game by Delory goes for a touchdown. First touchdown comes with 9.55 left in the first period. LaSalle taking an early lead. They did put up a lot of points last week against CBA, even though they lost the Sabre game to the brothers in that first game of the season. So second week of the year, and Cadets enjoy a 6-0 lead already. Kicking off will be Evan Earl, who just missed that extra point wide to the left. Back deep to return for Queensberry. It'll be Alec Fazio and Evan Myers for the Spartans. Actually, it's Nicholas Ketter that's back there, not Evan Fazio. So kick is away. Short and bounces a few times since one of the upbacks, and then it'll be taken from about the 25-yard line. Return may be about five yards as the return team gets it there. On the return for Queensbury was Nick Bachon. A first and ten for Queensbury, right about their own 30-yard line. Ball will be on the 30-yard line. Spartans come to the line, they run that triple option. Kind of packed in tight. Handoff will go up the middle to the fullback. It is Reed Ferrier on the carry. Gets a couple off the right side, about a four yard gain to get things started for Queensberry. Reynolds hands off, handoff was to number 33, Reed Ferrier. Come on, get the pace going. Seven for the Spartans. So Tyler Reynolds under center for the Spartans has him packed in once again, running that deception, running attack of Queensberry. Gonna hand off this time up the middle once again. They have a seam and they'll get the first down. And it was Alec Fazio on the carry for the Spartans. And he takes it out over the 40 yard line to about the 43. So a nine yard gain there for Fazio on the, on the play. 43 yard line, first and 10 for the start. And first first down of the game on the second carry so far for Queensberry. 8.57 left to go in the first period. 6 0 LaSalle in front on the big pass play on their first possession of the game. Reynolds has him to the line, packed in once again. Calls his signal on first and ten. He's going to give it to Fazio again. Or excuse me, that's not Fazio. They switched it up on me. Looks like Evan Myers was on the carry there. And he will be stopped at the line of scrimmage. Might even have lost a yard, and they are going to mark him back one yard. So Myers loses a yard on the play. Third different ball carrier for. Queensbury thus far, and now we'll have a fourth different man run the ball as Nick McCann takes it off the right side. Short gain on that play. Return the kick earlier, and he'll get about you know, two yards, so about three total on that one for McCann. So a lot of hands to touch the ball for the Spartans, as always. Faced with a third and about eight right here, though. Ball at their own 45-yard line. Reynolds takes the snap, hands off, and they're going to have a double handoff on this one. They're going to run up the middle with Evan Earl. Earl will take the right tackle, and he's going to be near a first down. And looks like they're going to have to measure this one as he picked up about eight yards on the carry. Fifth different running back for Queensberry thus far, and they are going to bring out the chains. It 
looks like he's going to be just short. And he is. He's short by about, let's see, maybe about bring six up inches, maybe real eight. Short for the so fourth down and that much for Queensberry. As they are faced with a decision here, ball right at about midfield. We need to get it across to the 48-yard line of LaSalle in order to get the first down. It's about the 48 and 7 eighths right now. And Queensberry is going to run the offense back out there, trying to pick up this first down right at midfield. Reynolds has him set. We'll see if he goes with a hard count and then calls timeout, or they just go straight ahead. Looks like they're going to go just straight ahead with the fullback. And the pile pushes forward. And they will pick up the first down Ferry here. And down. it was Reed Ferrier getting his second carry of the game thus far. And he picks up four on the carry, and that will be a first down for Queensbury. 7.15 left to go in the first period. You're listening and watching Sidelines Blog at timesunion.com. We're going to step aside for just a second. We'll be right back right after this.